Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So in the last video, we talked about audio and video effects in Final Cut Pro 10. In this video, I want to talk about adding fisheye because I've actually spent a lot of money on fisheye lenses over the past, fisheye Canon lenses. And uh, I wish I would have just found out about this earlier. It would have saved me about 800 bucks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to, I'm going to click on a clip. It can be any clip. Uh, and this is big for action sports. You see this a lot in skateboarding, motocross. Uh, I think that's why the GoPro default settings are set to fish angle or wide angle, just to give it that kind of enhanced, just to kind of give it that enhanced perception. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on a clip right here and I'm going to click on our audio and video effects just right here. Now what I'm going to do is click on distortion and you should see fisheye right here. In the last video, we talked about our video and audio effects and all these categories. And like I said, yeah, I recommend just playing around with them for about 15 or 20 minutes. So keep in mind, this isn't a cool skateboarding part. This is just my face. Uh, it's kind of heavy. We haven't really talked about playing around with this stuff up here. You can scale out. <laughs> I would definitely want to scale out. That's, that's too much of my face. Um, I don't know if you want all that black. Okay, whatever. For the time being, we have to look at my face. So that's it. That's the fisheye yeah, effect. Like, and today we're going to pair Street Fighter 2 with... Keep in mind, you could put it on anything. I'll go ahead and put it on this DuckTales intro. I've just got a bunch of random footage, as you guys know. And let's go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to go ahead and add fisheye. Definitely one of the most pop... One of the more popular video effects um, in... I, you don't see too much of it in like major motion pictures. It's more of a kind of like an action sports GoPro type thing. And that's kind of the gist. And it's very popular nowadays to get rid of this effect as well. Like if you were to pull on a GoPro and I'm going to do a video on that. But for the time being, if you want to add the fisheye effect to your videos in Final Cut Pro 10, that's how you do it. All right, guys. Good luck with that. And I'll see you guys in the next video.